Hey there everyone, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme, and today we're going to take a look at the Styles tab within Gantry 5's Administrator. Right now we're taking a look at Helium. Helium is our default theme. It is a great introductory theme for anyone new to Gantry 5. Now what we're going to do here is look at the Styles tab. And what the Styles tab in the Administrator does is it helps you configure the color settings for the backgrounds, text, uh, also any background images, and anything that affects the style of the theme. So for example, this background right here, you'll notice this big, huge earth background, as well as the purple and blue gradient overlay right here. Well, we're going to show you how to adjust that real quick using the Styles tab. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into the back end of Gantry 5. Now, we're using Grav for this uh, introductory video. However, because Gantry 5 is cross-platform, the interface, once you get to the administrator, is the same no matter what platform you're using. Either Grav, WordPress, or Joomla doesn't matter. What I'm showing you here will work for all three of them. And we're going to navigate right to the Gantry 5 Administrator, which should take us to the Styles tab within the Base Outline. You can tell we're in the Base Outline because in this dropdown, it is selected. Now, we could just adjust the style settings for a single page or group of pages by selecting another outline from this dropdown. But right now, we're going to work with Base since that affects the entire site as a global default. All right, and this first area of the Styles tab is actually the presets. The presets are loaded with just about any premium Gantry 5 theme. They give you different color presets to choose from, which make it really easy to jump from one color scheme to another. Now let's say that this blue and purple here isn't quite my style, but I really love this magenta and dark gray color scheme here, which is preset 4. Now. I could go through and adjust each and every one of these to meet my needs individually. And these are all the different individual style uh, blocks, which we'll go through in just a minute. But one quick and easy way to quickly switch from one color scheme to another is to select it here in the presets. As you'll see, once we've selected it, the star has appeared both in the upper left corner and to the left of the title. You'll also notice that the Save Styles button is now blinking, indicating that there are changes to be made. And you'll also notice that all the way down, the color scheme has completely changed for all of the individual sections. For example, the text color under Expanded Styles has changed. The background color under Footer has changed. This is all done all in one set thanks to presets. I'll go ahead and save this preset now, and once it has confirmed the save, we will be able to see this color scheme change on the front end. All right, and going back to the front end, all we have to do now is just refresh the page, and there we go. We'll see that the color scheme of the page has changed significantly. Everything looks a little bit different. It's still a very beautiful look, but let's say that we wanted to refine, for example, this section right here, where it says Joomla WordPress Grab. This is the features section of the site, and I wanted to give that maybe a different background color and a different text color. Well, that's very easy to do, and I'll show you how right now. I can do that very easily by going back to the Styles tab. Again, we're still in the base outline. I could switch this over to the Home Particles, which I think I'll do right now just to demonstrate. Now we're in the Home outline, which means that any change I make here will only affect pages that are assigned to this particular outline. In this case, it's just the front page. All right, and all I have to do now is just scroll down to the Features section right here, and you'll notice it's all grayed out, which means that we are currently pulling that information from the base outline, and we can override it very easily just by selecting anywhere around the field that you would like to change. I'm going to change the background color. So I'm going to select right about here, and you'll notice that there's now a check mark, and I have full access to the color picker. Uh, now, in this case, I'm going to change the color to 336699. So you can enter the hash here, and you can refine it just a little bit by dragging around here. Maybe, let's see, I want to change the saturation just a little bit, make it a little less saturated. There we go. That's a very beautiful blue color. Uh, the text color I'm happy with, I'll leave that as is. And you'll notice this little indicator letting you know it's time to hit Save. I'll go up to the top here. I'll hit Save Styles. After a few seconds, it'll give me a notification letting me know that my style change has been saved. I can go to the front end and refresh. 
And there you go. You now have this beautiful blue. Uh, I think I'm going to change that text now, actually. Uh, this beautiful blue background. And going back to change the text is very simple. You just repeat what we did earlier. Maybe I'll actually go full white. There we go. All right, now I've made that change to the color. The text is now white. I'll hit save, go back to the front page, give it a few seconds and hit refresh. All right, there we go. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right, we have this nice blue background, the white text, including the font awesome icons are in white as well. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And we have refined that in the styles tab. It took seconds. We didn't have to open up a single text file no programming experience needed. There is another area of the styles tab I would like to show you, and that's the core styles area here. Now here you can set base background, base text, accent colors, and the font families area, which is where we've set up so that you can change the fonts of the site very quickly from one space using the font picker. Now right here under the base styles and accent colors, you'll notice that these accent colors right here, and I'll go ahead and select them so that we can edit them on the front page. These are the colors that we receive from preset four. And these colors also happen to affect this gradient overlay that you see on the top of the page here. Well, let's say that I wanted to change that just a little bit. And I actually wanted to base it off of that blue, that 336699 blue that we had earlier. I'll just go ahead and change that there. Again, we could just go through, grab the color out of the color wheel, pick something, refine it exactly the way we want it to look. I just happen to know that that is the hash I wanna use. I'll go ahead and, and do that. I'll hit save styles. And once it is saved, we'll go over to the front page, hit refresh and see how it has changed things. Oh, there we go. We now have this beautiful blue gradient background here. And you'll notice that we've changed quite a bit about the front page. Everything has this new beautiful blue color to it. And it is just gorgeous. And this whole process took just a few seconds in the Styles tab within the Gantry 5 Administrator. There's one more area of the Styles tab I would like to show you just really quickly, and that is at the very bottom. These are the Configuration Styles uh, options, and they enable you to set the breakpoints for the responsive content on the page. So for example, uh, you could have a particle that only appears for users of desktop and large desktop class devices, and you can set that through class settings uh, within the particle. And we'll go over that, of course, in a future video. Uh, but as far as this particular area is concerned, you can actually define the rem units at which these different breakpoints occur. So for example, if you wanted your desktop uh, to start at 60 rem and your large desktop settings to start at 75, uh, you could enter that here. Generally, for most people, this area of the page will not change as we use very basic defined uh, rem units by default within the Helium theme, as well as just about any other theme that Rocket theme produces. Uh, now down here, you'll see there's menu settings and they enable you to set the drop down width in pixels, as well as the animation used uh, for a drop down. So for example, I'll go over to the front page right now and you'll notice that there are these drop downs on the menu and there are 180 pixels in width and the animation is a fade. So if I were to go here and change the animation to, uh, for example, fade in up and save, you'll notice the save button is actually located at both the top and bottom of the styles panel. And I'll refresh. You'll notice that they have a slightly different animation to them. They actually jump up a little bit as they fade in. And I can change this to 280 pixels. I'll save and refresh. And you'll notice that the dropdown is a lot wider than it was before because we changed that value. So that's basically what that area of the Styles tab does for you. This has been a quick overview of the Styles tab. If you have any questions about the Styles tab in particular or any area of Gantry 5, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and we'll be sure to address them in a future video. For now, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme saying have a great day. We'll see you again soon.